Hey ladies and G's, here's the Kia Sorento. Uh, we don't have a spec here, but uh, you can see this is a better pack model than we saw in Barcelona. Uh, we are in Bulgaria, uh, in Sofia to be exact, on a car show. It's the press day, so that's why the car is empty. Uh, they finished their press, so uh, we can uh, check the car out without uh, disturbance. Uh, now, I've mentioned before, I love the Kia Sorento. It just has this presence on road, like it's a US car, although this is for European market. Uh, I think it will be maybe available in the US. I haven't checked, to be honest, 100%, but I love the car. It just has this masculinity. It's nice and wide, so uh, let's check it out. Uh, of course, you have the three lenses on the top. You have the daytime running lights that turn into turn signals. You have a little air tunneling through the sides, you have a big air intake on the top, you can see the radiator and on the bottom, you also have fog lights right there. You have this like silver finish lip on the front, you have the radar for the emergency braking, cruise distance and so on. You also have a wide lens camera on the front, uh, there's actually four cameras, so for the 360 parking system and then I love the new Kia badge is really standing out like something clean minimalist and premium ish at least trying to be and it's definitely better uh, than the previous logo that uh, looked pretty cheap now uh, love the black SUV kind of a reeks you know gangster uh, but you know you can pick it in different colors this is a metallic black color of course and a little view from this angle as well so it's an also nice car if you need to go to a little uh, light uh, off-roading so it has nice plastic protection around the wheels on the wheel arches there and then going on the bottom now we he over here have a 19 inch alloys these are diamond cut silver on gray finish these are 235 55 r 19 extra large tires these came with the continental premium context 6 it's a solid tire and we also have this mud flaps so uh, if you didn't have them this would be protected also you have this optional uh, skirt or like a step on it and over here you have a little silver accents there is a basil around the mirror so it kind of gives you this you know FBI looks uh, of course though they have different brands but you can see the chrome around and then we have this nice slim roof racks there are uh, there is an openable sun sunroof it's like a panoramic roof extending from the back tinted windows on the rear and I just love the stance of the car I, I've, I've said that uh, you guys love the car and uh, let me come from this angle because it is a little bit limited here you can see the rear also just very American-ish uh, it's a long white car big size SUV and it just you know it feels uh, impressive on the road I saw a few of them and the, I, I love them uh, I'll drive this one I don't have the spec but you can see here uh, this is the plug-in hybrid option and we have the uh, uh, white lines on the rear white LEDs and we have the diffuser on the bottom also a little uh, silver just to kill the black theme but then you have plastic protection on the bottom to protect your clear coat you press it here and open it up you can see the turn signals vertical LED taillights and turn signals now this doesn't open too tall I'm a two meter tall person or 6.6 .6 in feet so you might hit your head you can close it or lock it uh, if electronics fail you can close it manually there now uh, you have this big cover this is kind of rigid mm, I don't know plasticky rubberized material something like that uh, you can of course open this up and then you can remove the shade of course uh, you can bring the shade forward like this right oops like that and then you know pushing the other one but i'm gonna put it in to the original position 
uh, because this is a seven seater. So let me see if I can back up here and not hit my head. There you go. This is uh, loads of space. Now we're gonna get to the seats, don't worry. Uh, one finger to the loading area, so it's almost completely flat. Uh, since this is a plug-in hybrid, there's a little space here, maybe for some cables, emergency triangle, first aid, and so on. Now, uh, have in mind, if you do open the seven seats, you're gonna remove that and put it here, so you can put it here. Now, there are seatbelt ali seat belt aligners for the rear. You can see also tether points here, here, and over there. There are cup holders in here, like here, and this is like a white space, you can put stuff in here. There's a 12 volt outlet, checking the right side. You can knock down right and uh, left, second row, and then you have the AC on the rear, you can control the fan speed. You have the fan is there, you have the USB-A for fast charging, it's also illuminated. Speaker in the C-pillar, there's a light, LED light there for the rear passengers. And you can see also here a little bit more light. On the left, we have another speaker there. Uh, the rest is pretty much the same layout. Now, if you want to pull up the seat, you press here and you pull. So this is the seventh seat. And of course, you can push this up, push it down. So I'm not gonna attempt to get in there. I know I'm creating a shadow, but you can see that approximately there is enough space there. Now, let me see if I can use this one for the knocking down. Okay, uh, didn't thought of that. Thought I was gonna knock this one. Okay, um, when I was about to say Kia is pretty good. There are a few things that you need to work on. So let's get a plastic, it fell outside. But it's okay, you have the tether points there. Now you can see when you knock down the seats, there's a loads of space you can sleep in this car. Definitely two people can sleep in this car if you put a mattress. Now I'm gonna close this up and lock it. Okay, I just wanna check one thing. Yeah, so plug-in hybrid. There is your type two. This is plastic, this is not rubberized. It's usually rubberized. Actually, wait, this is rubberized. Oh, feels very hard. You can see your uh, Type 2 AC and the other side would be fuel. So let me just show you this angle. This definitely looks like an FBI SUV. I mean, yeah, definitely. It's actually weird that Kia went with this kind of design for a European SUV. Of course, excellent opening and closing sound. The front doors open wide, but the rear ones also very wide, so it's nice and easy if you need to put a child seat. There's so much room here. Look at this. This this looks amazing. Now I know I didn't put the seat back seat in the right position, but you know, uh, doesn't really matter. Uh, you can see this now. I think there's a yeah, there's this one. So let me check here. I think I need to use both hands, so I'll have to pause the video. And voila, with the video magic, you can see uh, we have the seats in the upright position. Of course, uh, you can tilt the seats, as you can see that seat. You can even tilt it more so you can get comfortable in the back. You can press here, and in that case, the seat goes forward, and your kids can get in the back. Now, I did uh, move the cover and put the seat there so you can see there's uh, you know for younger kids there's enough knee room and feet room and the seats look comfy I'm not gonna attempt to sit in the back there because it's just not practical and this thing is in the way but you can see the space in the rear is generous you can slide the bench locks in the upright position so this is kind of uh, in the way then you can slide it back and adjust for the passengers on the rear and for the passengers on the front row uh, over here there's an also option so on the top and the bottom 
Now I wonder if it pressed it again. Yeah, it's not gonna retract by itself. But yeah, uh, in this case it went all the way there, but in this one I think I managed to go back. So that's for the seat. Uh, again, there's your ISOFIX. It's easy to get here and put a child seat. Now just to focus on the doors, you have good seals on the top, triple ceiling. The doors go all the way down, so if you need to wash the car, there won't be water residue down there. And let's check the inside materials. Ooh, soft Dutch plastics. And look at this, you can put a shade there, so you have some privacy, or if you have kids, it's a nice detail, nice touch. And then look at this design. This looks, hmm, I would say something like in a Seat design or the Cupra Fermenter. Uh, there, nice handles, big and bulky. This is all soft, covered with leather. This is plastic, and this is plastic. A water bottle area there, Bose speakers. Oh, some branded speakers. Over here, you have a cup holder seat. This is nice. You can put a water bottle here. And then you have the automatic windows. You have the seat heaters there there's a rubber mat here so everything is robust and feels high quality so kia is definitely stepping up surrender aluminium doorstep and let's just jump inside i know i'm showing a lot of the stuff and you just want to see the front maybe so we have nice pockets here and a net the seat is in the probably lowest position because it's a little bit tight fit for my feet and for my knees Usually these cars have what's called. Yeah, let me move it. Uh, easy entry for the front driver, so it backs up a little bit too much. I would say that uh, I have okay knee room, and I think the seat is way back, so I think the knee room would be okay. Let's hear the closing sound. Excellent closing sound, and I would say good. Decent soundproof inside. Now, uh, you're wondering, two meter tall person, 6.6 .6 in feet. Uh, well, the uh, panel roof is definitely an issue for myself. But uh, for an average person, uh, you'll be touching maybe with your hair, or maybe not if you're a shorter person, but uh, it's nice to have a panel roof. Now, air vents are here. You can close or open them, control the air direction to a little outlet. Or 180 watt is there, and your USB A for fast charging is illuminated. As you can see, since this is a tall car, there's no need for transmission tunnel because it's underneath. So there's extra room here for a third passenger, although this seat is quite narrow, semi soft, it's a bit hard to be honest. And there are buckles here, they're tucked in for not using them. Now you can adjust. This bench, you can slide the bench so the seat's not going to 60-40 and they slide uh, the same way. This, look at this leather, it's peripherate. I forgot to mention the leather, but you can see that it is exquisite. Love the headrest, they look quite comfortable. Of course, you can adjust those. And let's check out here, you have a armrest with a couple holders. This is rubberized, although I think it should stay like in this position because it falls down. Oh yeah, so to be fair, the seat it can recline. And in that case, it is flat as you would expect. You can see that they're both now in line. Maybe this can, you can see that this one is a little bit front. So once again, you can slide this seat back and forward. You have nice and big tall windows, the huge one in the seat pillar. Now the rear end is a little bit um, short, but um, I think the overview around is okay if the back seats are not up. Now you can see the beautiful panel roof. Uh, of course, you have the shade at electronic over there. And uh, you have some nice reading lights. You have hooks for the shirts. You have slowly closing handles on three spots. Uh, the driver doesn't have it for some odd reason. I'm not sure why. And again, you can put this to have some privacy. Um, definitely a lot of space, but that's not it. Uh, you can move the front seat and you can do the tilt for the front passenger seat. You have two USB 
Ace for fast charging in the seat. A lot of smart features. And then look at this in the front. It just, it's a classical American SUV. A lot of buttons, wide big screen, big air vents. Let's check it up on the front. Uh, I do like this step over here. So maybe if you need to, you know, uh, get up, uh, check some stuff, you know, it's practical. If you have a box on the top, you want to put some extra stuff, uh, that's good. Solid opening and closing sound, but they need to work on the door handles. It's got a plastic. You can see there is a uh, physical cylinder. You can remove this plastic, of course, and then if you need to unlock the car if the 12 volt battery dies, you can press here to a lock or unlock you have the blind spot and the nice big mirrors so it's all practical there and uh, same seals same soft touch plastic on the front but look at this I think these are ambient lights can't tell from top uh, I mean they look like ambient lights but might be hmm, are they it looks like it's just paint but uh, nevertheless it looks cool you can uh, have two memory positions, so one for yourself, one for your uh, wife, perhaps, or a husband. And you can see here, you can control the mirrors, you can fold them, you can lock or unlock the car from the inside, you can lock the rear windows, and they're all powered and fully automatic. This is all softly padded, this feels robust. Proper carpet there, both speakers. And then hard plastics on the bottom. There is some water bottle room there. Sorrento aluminum doorstep. And here's the tire pressure. If you're having more passengers and luggage, you need to have a high tire pressure. Check the front seats uh, or the driver's seat. You have the electronic, of course, you can use. Uh, respect the basic ones. Uh, seat up and down, uh, knee area up and down. There's no extension there. At least not the manual, you can adjust that, you can adjust the lumbar. The bolsters are really short, a little bigger on the top, but I love the leather, I haven't shown you that. It has some white contrast and it's perforated in there. I love these cushions. It's, the seats are super comfortable. Now the one we saw in Barcelona, textile, these are leather, of course, you can spec those, uh, whatever you want. Fuse box, uh, aluminum sport paddles, light uh, beam height, you can pop here the fuel cap, you can uh, open or close from the driver position, traction control off, uh, steering column is manual, uh, let me just pop this for some of those who are going to be like, oh, I didn't pop that, so there we go, recommended fuel, now if you open this, you can hang it here. So just for those of you who are interested in that bar, let's hop inside. So loads of room, easy to enter. And you can see I have some knee room so I can go a little bit forward. In that case, I would have more knee room uh, if you're like a tall person. Let's close this up. Someone is browsing the car, so the rear doors are open. So the doors are closed once more. Very solid closing sound. It sounds pretty good. Now let's switch to a wide lens. And there we go. That's the point of view we were looking for. Look at those big mirrors. Good overview. Good overview on the front. If you're a taller person, you can see the hood. You feel safe. There's space between you. Uh, and it looks solid. I gotta say, uh, besides the price, that is. Uh, this is the most expensive Kia you can buy, but uh, besides the price, I love the car. It's super spacious and it has a lot to offer, but the price is competitive, so there's a lot of other options. Now, let's check the steering wheel. So you have leather, it's kind of some smooth part, it doesn't have too much texture. It's three spoke uh, all around, I'm saying this because there are flat bottom steering wheels you can spec sometimes. And you have the sport paddles, they're a nice aluminum finish, but uh, yeah, also aluminum from the rear. Um, you have here uh, modes, uh, voice commands, phone calls, volume. Um, and you have the 
I guess maybe pages for the infotainment. And then you have here, you can swipe through these. Now we don't have the key, unfortunately. I think I had it in the Barcelona and I showed the infotainment, but in, if you wanna see that, then jump to that video. I'm gonna link it. Uh, distance and lane assist. And over here you have for the trip computer. Now this is soft, soft. There's a speaker in the A pillar, there's an air vent going there to the side. We have the heads up display now, I wish I had a key. Uh, and there's a speaker on the top there. We have a, um, well, piano black connecting through here. And we have the Bose. Uh, this is the new infotainment, you have touch capacitive buttons on the sides. You have the big hazard button there. And there's the climate controls, very dead easy to use. You have the automatic off, front and rear defrost, you have the temperature there, and you can hear control also, you have touch capacitive basically buttons that uh, we prefer, physical buttons. And over here I still have nice details. This is all soft, this is like semi-soft. Nice, slowly opening, a nice flint inside, and there's a little light to know SD cards or something like that. Um, I love the levels, look at those air vents, and you have the air vents on the top and one on the bottom, there's plenty of them. You have the heated and ventilated seats, um, this is plain, you can press here, and then this is mm, rubberized, this is for QI charging, so there's another USB-A for fast charging, one for media, and another one, so three USB-A's. And yeah, this symbol lights up on your phone is here. You can close this up. And then horrible piano black. Don't even need to mention all the cons about that. And over here you have the nice park, reverse neutral drive, Sorrento. So this this is a nice detail, but just ugh, piano black. And then of course here you would have the eco mode, sport, smart, snow mud and sand drive uh, and terrain so driving modes and terrain options heated steering wheel auto hold downhill assist electronic parking brake parking sensors parking cameras hybrid electric so you can drive hybrid or fully electric and you have adjustable cup holders with rubber mat here and here another cubby It'd be cool if they added maybe a shutter but they didn't and this is nice and soft Armrest, you press here and then it goes up. And you have a cubby here, it's rubberized. And you have this massive space. So just, you see I have big hands. There's a carpet here. Um, whoa, there's an air vent on the bottom. So cautious not to drop some stuff uh, in there. That uh, would be cool because you would lose stuff. And over here, you can put something, look at this, here, like a, I don't know, paper or something. And yeah, the seats are super comfortable. Love the leather. And moving to the top, you have a, uh, you can see fairly good overview in the rear. You can see far in the distance. Mirror has a little basil there and you have the LED lights. I might switch them off now. Uh, of course, you can control the electronic roof. Uh, and the shade, I think. Maybe it's tied to the roof. And you have here some probably airbag information and passenger seat belts. You can press here and press the emergency uh, call in case of an accident. Uh, and this is padded. Have a big privacy mirror, documents holder, and this. Is warm light so it's not consistent with the interior lights that are all led and let's see if this extends there's an arrow here indicating that it might be the case and yes it does look at this just like the american cars it completely cover this so but uh, this is not available in every kia unfortunately so yeah i unfortunately can't show you the infotainment there but uh you can see it in my auto video and yeah, headspace, forgot if I showed it. Plenty of headroom on the front. Uh, just, I love this SUV. I wish I had an opportunity to test drive one, which I didn't get. 
because uh, the car industry is messed up at the moment. There's uh, not enough cars uh, when the production is are very uh, limited for the parts, and then every car that is made, it's usually sold to the customer. You can see here the hybrid smart stream G, uh, your petrol and your electric motor. And uh, this is your washer fluid. So it's nice that you have gas struts. If I back up, you can see that as well. And just close it up. Maybe I did that I didn't mention. You have the lane assist and the rate, excuse me, and the rain and light sensor on the top. I just love the Sorento. So I'm gonna wrap it up here, guys. Leave your comments how do you like the Sorento. And if you wanna see more from Bulgaria Auto Show, subscribe to the channel, click the bell, and click on all notifications. Otherwise, you won't get them regularly. See you in the next one. Stay safe. Bye.